ushering in a new era at the club. Can he bring fresh ideas? We're about to find out. Stay with us on EA TV. Hello, everyone. Great to have the pleasure of your company here at Bramall Lane. My name is Derek Ray. Excited to be bringing you match commentary. And alongside me, my broadcasting partner, Stuart Robson. And there are few more enjoyable days on the football calendar than opening day in the Premier League. It's Sheffield United up against Crystal Palace. Well, Derek, they did the hard work last season just to get promoted. But this is going to be a really tough campaign for them. Let's hope they play well today and get off to a good start. The initial 11 today for the hosts. Well, it's a defensive lineup, that's for sure. But their wing backs and at least one of their midfield players will need to break forward when they regain possession just to give them a threat going forward. It is a decent looking attack here. Can they jump in front? And the keeper really reacted brilliantly. Well, from that sort of range, it's a great save, I have to say. They take it short. Well, pressure building, another corner. Yeah. Now, how about the short corner? Brilliantly blocked. And the counter attack is on, options available. Well, big changes at the club, a new manager on the team. Oh, Derek, can he finish this? Oh, dealt with by the goalkeeper. <laughs> and over it comes. And the clearance there means a corner. And the danger still on. And delivered into the box. Oh, terrific goal! How about that? Absolutely magnificent. Well, as you can see, they don't come much better than this. It's a goal of the highest quality. Wonderful piece of skill. <laughs> One nil then. <laughs> Sheikh Dukure. And that's very good refereeing to let the play flow. Now well, winning back possession. Well, it appears there's been a goal in the Bournemouth game. Over to Alex for the details. It's a goal for West Ham. The free kick was well executed, but it had a big deflection and it's gone in off the wall. It's now 1-0 with 19 minutes played. Thank you, Alex. He's using his strength to good effect. Well, that's the end of that move for now. Christian Kouame. Ducouré. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. Not much defensive cover there on the flank. It might still be problematic. And a time for calm on the ball. Munoz. Ezi. It's 
strength and control a big part of his game. Well, sadly, they just couldn't keep possession. Well, doesn't get away with it. Free kick given. Well, making considerable progress with the ball. Well, going for power and so close to finding the net. Plenty of options. Oh, breezing past him. And a fine cross. Well, it's actually ended up being easy meat for the keeper. Christian Kouame. So, getting close to the half-time interval, and it's going with home advantage, albeit not by a lot. Stuart, what have you made of what you've seen so far? Well, it's been a tight game so far, but they've just had that little bit more quality on the ball, particularly in midfield, where they've just started to take control. They'll be fairly happy going at half-time if it stays like this. Well, they stopped them in their tracks. Christian Kouame. It is a decent-looking attack here. Oh, back of the net! And a debut goal to boot. It doesn't get much better than that. Well, as you can see, he's a dangerous runner with the ball. He has such good balance and pace. That's a top-class goal, isn't it? Back underway, level pegging, one goal apiece in this game. And space here on the flank. It needs an accurate cross. Oh, can you believe what we've just seen? I think we're going to be viewing that goal time and time again. Well, just look at this. Magnificent agility, perfect timing and great connection. What a goal that is. And they get the ball moving again. Can Palace come up with an answer here? Munoz. We've been waiting to find out. Now we know a minimum of three added minutes here. Christian Kouame. Ducouré. And the referee is quite rightly letting it go. Determined defending. And with that, the first half action is over here at Bramall Lane. And we're focusing on him for a reason, Stuart. He's asking plenty of questions of the defenders. Yeah, he's been brilliant, hasn't he? He looks such a threat every time he gets the ball. And of course, he scored a very good goal. So back underway here, into the second half. A bit of running room now on the wing. Defensive roadblock in the way of that cross. That's going to be a Sheffield United ball. Substitution then, let's see how it affects the match. And the cross into the middle. Can he finish here? A goal that is out of this world! I don't think anyone expected that, not least the goalkeeper. And I have a feeling we'll be seeing that time and time again. Incredible! Well, what a piece of skill this is. It had everything. Agility, technique and power. It's a great goal.
Well, no wonder he's delighted. They're bossing the game now. So on with the action. And 3-1 the scoreline at the moment. Tyrick Mitchell. Well, it clearly was deflected. So it will be their throw-in. Well, there's been so much talk about a potential transfer, but it's potential no more. It's fact. Well, at around £40 million, I think that's good value. Because if he does produce his best form, then they've signed a really good player. One that will certainly improve their team. And Crystal Palace moving the ball forward. What can they do from here? Doing everything possible to keep possession. Is this the moment? Fine goalkeeping to push that away. Jaden Bogle. Options in the centre. And far from the ideal cross. Keeper's ball all the way. Oh, tremendous work from the keeper to avert the danger. Well, we always enjoy bringing you live action on EA TV and Premier League action coming up. It's Sheffield United facing Nottingham Forest. Well, no stopping him. Quite possibly a yellow card as the flow was stopped. Well, the referee has taken note of his name and number. Well, I think he can count himself a bit unlucky there, but it was certainly a foul. And it is substitution time at this juncture, not just from one side, but from both. Able to get his body in the way. Racing forward, trying to catch them out. Well, they need to get bodies back. Well, they'd be disappointed if he didn't take that one cleanly. Oh, great vision. And he read it well defensively. Now he must favour the cross. Chance to finish. Well, just look at this. Magnificent agility, perfect timing and great connection. What a goal that is. Well, that's just what he wanted. He has to be happy with this performance. They've been good today. Not too much defending going on in the grand scheme of things. 4-1. Congratulations, Mike and Eileen. Anderson. Mitchell and Edouard with it Sheikh Ducouré Eberechi Ezi on the ball well he didn't miss by very much at all Jack Robinson, Wes Fodringham. Oh, goalkeeper blunder, and the keeper more than equal to it. Substitution for Crystal Palace. Here it is now, a substitution. <laughs> Played over. Well, as a defender, that will sit you down to the ground. Counter-attacking, very much an option. 
And don't forget, we have more Premier League action coming up for you on EA TV. Oh, Derek, this is a big moment here. Oh, did so well to deny him. Ezzy. Hudson Edouard. Ducouré. Kouame with it. Hudson Edouard. Well, a stylish moment. Brilliantly blocked. Five minutes to go. Hudson Edouard. Not an especially strong challenge. Could be. What an important piece of defending. Wes Fodringham. And that will be a corner. And the referee will go back now to the earlier incident. Yellow card it is. Now sending it in. Oh, that's a goal at the wrong end. Well, it's every defender's nightmare. An own goal here. Well, here it is again, and he's a bit unfortunate, you have to say. But it will count as an own goal against him, I'm afraid. So the current scoreline, 4-2. And the referee is going to add on four added minutes. Corner awarded. And over it comes, and ably dealt with. Breaking at pace. And a goal it is, the keeper ready not part of the equation. And that is the end of the contest, and it's the Blades fans who'll go home happy following this result. What did you think of it? Well, what a way to start the season. They passed it well, they looked organised, and they deserved their win. It's a great result.